If you have a fear of the deep blue water, then watching this video will make you extra brave. Today we've collected for you the top 10 sea monsters that are actually way scarier than Megalodon, which as you can understand says a lot. Are you ready to dive in the waters of past and present and discover them all? Well, here we go. Number one is Plesiosaurs. This is a type of marine reptile that appeared in the seas over 205 million years ago, and we have to say that magnificent though they may look, we're very glad they're extinct. The plesiosaurs comes from the Greek word for near to lizards, and by looking at them we can understand why. It's like somebody's twisted idea what a dinosaur would look like if they could swim. Plesiosaurs typically had broad bodies, flippers, and short tails. The most distinctive species also had long necks that made the animal look like a snake threaded through a turtle shell. The distinctive characteristic though was the long neck, which in some cases were like really, really long. Some of the longest necks were found at a group of plesiosaurs and they were called elasmosaurs. And the length of the neck of those creatures was almost seven meters long and the whole creature was about 13 meters long. Hello nightmares. Number two is a mosasaurus. These creatures were extinct to about the same time as dinosaurs about 66 million years ago. And from fossil findings, scientists believe they were present in every continent, making them a universal horror story. Mosasaurs also belonged to a group of marine reptiles when they started out about 98 million years ago. They actually started quite small, about a meter in length, but over time they began to get bigger and bigger, and the biggest one actually recorded is over 17 meters long. Mosasaurs were ruthless predators, and they were known sometimes to even eat the plesiosaurs or other mosasaurs. Fossils show that in some mosasaurs, the long tail makes an unusual turn downward, which puzzled scientists until 2008, but they discovered this was due to having soft tissue. Number three is the ichthyosaurs. The last one of the sores is a ichthyosaur, and they were the first lizards that took to the sea. So far, scientists have discovered and named more than 100 different species of them and estimate they started roaming the seas 248 million years ago. They come in a various shape and size and they lived all around the globe, but one thing they had in common is how scary and monster-like they look. One species was particularly scary called an ophthalmosaurus, which in Greek translates into eye lizard. Duh! These six meter long creatures must have been chasing prey into very deep dark water like modern day sperm whales, and scientists suggest they had those big eyes to be able to hunt at night with no problem. Number four, it's the hatchet fish. Now let's move on to a modern day sea monster, shall we? The hatchet fish lives 50 meters below the ocean surface and it's tiny. So why did we include it in our list, I hear you asking? Well, the clue is the name, hatchet fish. It's named like that because of the thorax of the silver color that resembles the blade of a hatchet. The whole fish is thin and has a razor-like form and just the sight of it gives you an uneasy feeling of some unknown terror. Number five is the goblin shark. This mysterious deep sea creature is sometimes called a living fossil because it's the only survivor of the 125 million year old family of sharks. The average size of a goblin shark is about four meters long, but they can grow much larger. They generally prefer to live in areas that are about 100 meters deep and the experiment of taking one and putting it in a Japanese aquarium ended up with the shark dying shortly after it was transferred. It has a long flattened snout, protruding jaws, and claw-like teeth that will give you chills just by looking at them in a picture. Number six is the fang tooth. The fang tooth is one of those misconceived creatures. Even though it looks absolutely menacing, it's calm and harmless. Some scientists even go so far as to compare it with a pit bull that has a heart of gold. On top of the sweet nature, the fang tooth is almost blind and gets most of its meal by chance, meaning it usually just bumps into it. Aw, oh, you little poor baby monster. Its bad reputation comes from the fact that fang tooth has the largest teeth of any fish in the ocean, comparatively speaking. But don't worry because chances are you'll never see one in your life. They live 16,400 feet below sea level. Sweet and scary, our favorite combination. Number seven are anglerfish. The anglerfish has some of the most interesting predatory techniques out of all sea creatures. They possess a spine that can grow its own glowing fleshy mass that the anglerfish flaunts and wiggles around to lure in other sea creatures close enough to be devoured. 
A true magician, the anglerfish are also quite freaky because they're carnivorous. They have large heads with enormous mouths and fang-like teeth. And although most of the species are between 2 and 18 centimeters long, some have been known to reach even 1 meter, which is a perfect nightmare to imagine. Number 8 is the blobfish. Now it might sound cute, but believe us, the blobfish is not cute at all. It has a jiggly and floppy appearance that can be compared to a bowl of jelly, and because they have gained the title of the world's ugliest animal in 2013, well, their weird appearance is due to the fact that their skin is about as dense as water, and over time is a result of the high water pressured bottom of the ocean where it lives. And although you might think this creature would have a difficult time eating due to the lack of muscle tissue, you'd be surprised to know the blowfish simply opens its mouth to any sea critter that happens to pass it by and becomes its next meal. Number nine is the flamingo tongue snail. The flamingo tongue snail looks like it's going to a rave party, but the truth is that it owes its vibrant colors to the living mantle tissue. It lives in the Atlantic and Caribbean waters and feeds on toxic sea fans. Yep, you heard it right. Instead of getting harmed by the toxic, this snail actually absorbs the venom, transforms itself into a toxic supervillain. Because of how interesting they look though, a lot of scuba divers take it with them to dry land and keep them as souvenirs, which has caused the population to dramatically Dramatically decrease. Number 10 is a sea cucumber. Upon seeing a sea cucumber for the first time, you'll think it's probably named like that because of its shape and it resembles a cucumber. And this might be true, but there's another explanation as to how it got its name, which is much funnier. You see, these creatures have about the same mental capacity as the cucumber you eat. That's right, they're dumb as a cucumber. They lack a true brain or sensory organs, which means they have scientists puzzled as to how they even continue to survive. But although they're definitely not smart when they're faced with a predator, they can quickly wedge themselves into a tiny crevice and escape, and then its collagen will loosen it so it can liquefy and get out of its hiding spot. We're going to leave you with the main reason as to why sea cucumbers are scary. They are capable of contracting their muscles and expelling some of their internal organs out through their anus to ward off predators. After the danger has passed, they grow them back again. There you have it, the top 10 scarier than Megalodon sea monsters, which we hope don't give you nightmares. Please tell us in the comments which one you think is the scariest of all, and make sure and hit that subscribe button to get all of our new videos. Until next time, stay afloat.